Hello, this is Leanne McGlynn with McGlynn Institute Neonatal. Today in our procedural skills series, we'll discuss use of the meconium aspirator. Although used much less often than previously used in an RP, a meconium aspirator is not a thing of the past. In fact, it's a device that essentially turns any ET tube into a rigid large bore suction catheter. A meconium aspirator should be used when all the basic avenues of Mr. Sopa have been exhausted and chest rise can still not be achieved. In other words, you've adjusted your mask, you've repositioned the airway, you have suctioned with a bulb syringe or even suctioned with another catheter. You may even try increasing the pressure and yet still chest rise cannot be achieved. At this point, it's time to switch to a meconium aspirator. The equipment and supplies needed will be the meconium aspirator, suction tubing. You will place the meconium aspirator cone end onto the suction tubing and adjust your suction to 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury. You'll also need the proper size ET tubes as well as laryngoscope blade. Once you have quickly prepared equipment and supplies, you will then visualize the cords Pass the cords, place the meconium aspirator on, and then suction as you pull out the ET tube. Please keep in mind it may take more than one pass and that a meconium aspirator is not just for meconium. In fact, I've personally used it very recently on thick meconium and one on a tracheal plug or cast, both in newborns just minutes old. Once you feel the airway is cleared, it's time to repeat Mr. Sopa looking for chest rise, increase in heart rate, and increase in saturations. Now it's your turn. Let us know how this video helped you in your actual clinical practice. Looking for an NRP, procedural skills, or simulation-based training course? McGlynn Institute Neonatal has you covered. Give us a call or text at 704-728-4961 or email Dr. McGlynn at drmcglynn at McGlynnInstitute.com. Look forward to hearing from you soon.